Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Kim J back again with another digital art video. And I hope you guys are enjoying your year 2017 so far. I know I am. And I also hope you guys had a lovely Christmas and or the Hanukkah or Kwanzaa, whatever you may celebrate. And I just, I just hope you had a good time. And if you didn't celebrate anything, well, I hope you had a lovely day. <laughs> anything. So... I, uh, mm, so I recently got a Wacom Intuos art tablet, the, um, yeah, art drawing tablet, whatever thing. <laughs> I got a graphics tablet there, make life easier. Anyways, and so since I was, um, doing a lot of digital art on my computer, I just thought like, hey, well, let me get a screen recorder app and I can just use that to, um, make my videos. I'm not going to say all videos will be digital art. There will still be a mix of digital and... Mm, excuse me. Sorry, not feeling too great. And I thought I had to sneeze or cough. I don't know. It's a mix of... It's a weird mix of stuff. But anyways, uh, what I was saying was... Uh, I thought it'd be... It would be a mix... My channel will still be a mix of traditional and digital. It just might be a bit more digital than anything. Because it's easier for me to do it now since I have... It, like, all I had to do was turn on my screen recorder and just go from there. My main issue for, like, doing traditionals, and I gotta set up my camera, and then I gotta record, and then I gotta make sure it's recording still. And then, you can see the, you see the dilemma. <laughs> but anyway, so in this picture, I am drawing my character, uh, well, fusion of my character Zoe and my character's av character Avril. Um, all I can say is Avril is like a dragon thing I made up, and um, Zoe is a werewolf, so it's, it's a were dragon, and everything else like that. And the program I'm using is Sketchbook Pro. You may be able to see it on the top thing. I'm not sure how much of the screen was recorded, but a good majority of it was. But, um, yes, I'm using Sketchbook Pro. You can find that on the App Store on, um, what you call it? On, um, actually anything you use if you're using, like, a tablet or I think even your phone you can get it on. But I know on the Apple App Store you can find it for sure. And, um, I've been using, I've used this program before. You might have seen it in some of my videos, my other digital art videos. And, um... Really, this whole thing, video piece, was just to um, test out the screen recorder and my um, a little bit more of my tablet. I'm still trying to get used to it, and um, <laughs> it's it's kind of hard, but I'm I'm getting there slowly. It's like I'm used to using our tablets, but not really. I mean, because I mean, I because I had to use them in my um graphic design 2 class and everything else like that but still it was pretty it's still hard getting used to it and everything else like that but um besides the point <laughs> uh how have you all been I, I hope you've been well <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of out of it trying not to talk too much but just enough and talk, not to segue into something completely random so what's coming for 2017 well in 2000 this year i should say <laughs> i uh i'm working on trying to be a bit more active on my youtube channel and uh thanks to me getting my art graphics tablet and everything else like that and the screen recorder app i can totally be more active more drawings and everything else like that it really doesn't take too long for me to edit unless i'm Unless, I don't know, if I would make, like, an intro or whatever. I don't know. I don't think I would want to. Probably should consider it. I might consider it and everything else like that. But, you know, it, it all depends <laughs> on, um, it just depends on if I really want to and everything else like that. And, uh, like I said, these videos don't really take long to edit. It's just what I do it traditionally. It just takes a very long time to set up and, and to, you know, just to get it to look the way I want to and everything else like that. Uh, what else is coming for 2017? Ah, on the channel, I'm not too sure. No, I'm not, I am sure. So what I also want to do is still do, like, the news thing, 
but instead of me just like having the random pictures of whatever I'm talking about on the screen, I was thinking about doing a drawing and I talk about new stuff like, hey, like, hey, this cartoon's coming out or hey, since I'm really into rock music and stuff like that, I may talk about like, hey, well, this album's coming out or this person left this band. <laughs> like, for instance, uh, Austin, I think it's Carly, the way it's spelled, it's spelled with Carly. If you know the band of Mice and Men, and if you know Austin, then you know who I'm talking about. But he recently had to step away from the band due to uh, a rare disease, fibrosis, fibrosis. I, I can't remember. Uh, it's the, on, on the Alternative Press. Alternative Press talked about it, and they think you can find it on, um, what you call it? on his um, Twitter and such like that because he talked about it there, but he had to sadly step away from the band because it was causing him so much pain. He just he just couldn't do it. Not that he couldn't do it. It's just like it was better for him to step away because it could lead to something worse. And, you know, on and it's really sad because reading the, his um, letter thing that he typed up and posted on there, I was... I felt really bad, because, like, man, you, they put a lot of work into this, and only reason he had to step away because of this, um, because of this health issue, and I felt, like I said, I felt really bad, because, like, it, it, you work very hard for so long, and then something like that to just mess, to mess everything, not really mess everything up, but something like that to just kind of, like, put things at a standstill, it sucks. It, it truly does suck, uh, and my heart honestly goes out to them, but using that story as an example of what I can do more on the channel, I'm currently working on, like, a, a theory, because I've been watching too much film theory and game theory, and I have a couple of theories dealing with um, music and everything else like that, just, like, um, just stuff, just stuff I might notice or stuff that would connect <laughs> It's it's all for pure fun. I'm not trying to be like, this is the logical thing and it's gotta be true and all that other things like that. It's just something to like, you know, make you think and just be like game theory. It's just the theory, a game theory. And you can talk about it in the comment section of what do you think, is my findings correct or, you know, just stuff like that. And like I said, so if I do that video, I'll do like a drawing based off like the song or whatever in the video. <laughs> and um the two ones I'm doing I'm like kind of working on I've worked on the script for the um but I guess it is kind of a script with the um script for the first one and this one is about an album by Famous Last Words called Two Face Charade mm, excuse me and uh it's really it's a really good album honestly and I enjoy it a little bit too much. I've listened to it way too much, <laughs> but I, I still I just love it. I can't I can't help it. I love the album. It's just that good. <laughs> but um, but I I came up with a theory about the main character from there, and it does have to deal with some mental stuff. But um, uh, but yeah, you know, just something like that. And another one I'm coming up with was um. Based off the Crown the Empire, uh, Johnny Ringo story. Yeah, the Johnny Ringo trilogy story. And it's like, is the trilogy really over? Like, I think my connection was, I think Lucky Us is like a... <laughs> the song Lucky Us, their most recent one, is actually about, like, referring to, like, Johnny Ringo or whatever. Like I said, this is all in pure fun and all just me being a dork and speculating stuff that doesn't really need to be speculated upon. <laughs> and, you know, they were just to start, and really just to start a conversation amongst fans and such. And everything else like that. It, like I said, is this something, some other things I want to talk about <laughs> while doing a um, YouTube video? Because, like, you know, any anybody can put, like, do the drawing videos and they have a good personality and everything else like that. And then you can just put music on and it's like, yeah, that's cool and all, but I I think it's just I don't want to download a bunch of loyalty-free music. 
and just have that knowing I can just, I, I, I'm trying to set, I'm trying to be different, and I know some people are going to probably be like, stop talking, you talk too much, well, there's a cat outside, and now he walked away, sorry, I have, I, some days my attention span is here, and other days it's just not, there was a cat outside, like, looking at me, and it just walked away, besides the point, the whole point of me was talking about, like, I was trying to make, I'm trying to, like, make myself slightly different than most channels that do art. I mean, like, it's cool and all. They got some really good music and everything else like that. And I've discovered some other, like, bands that have been around, but I didn't know. I remember one video I was watching, and I found out about Set It Off, which I actually remember seeing in Warp Tour when I went to Warp Tour for the very first time. It was one of my greatest accomplishments. <laughs> Anyways, besides the point, besides that, before I get off tangent, but, like, I like, I like talking about stuff. I mean, why not? I like trying to start a conversation. I know I don't, when I talk about things, I tend to not stick to one theme, tend to go off on a tangent, just like I did about the cat, and about everything else like that, but, like, I want to start a conversation in the comment section. Because honestly, my comment section is more empty than Fallout. And that's a place that's supposed to be empty. Well, a game that is supposed to feel empty. So it's kind of sad. <laughs> that that was a slight John Chon reference right there, ladies and gentlemen. In case anybody caught that. But it's just... <laughs> I, I want to be different in the way of like, hey, maybe I just come in and talk quite a bit. And I probably shouldn't do it too much, especially if I'm sick right now. I probably shouldn't be doing all this talking, but it's like, I care, but I don't care enough to, um, stop. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, just, just like I said, I'm just trying to be different and trying something new with my, uh, channel and everything, and, you know, maybe just try to find ways to set myself apart from most art channels. Anyways, this piece of video is getting way too long, like legit just like 15 minutes worth of video in this thing, so I'm going to end it here guys, I hope you enjoy, please like, uh, maybe favorite the video, subscribe to my channel for more stuff, and maybe hit me up with some other news or other things I can talk about, and I hope you have a great day, and thank you for watching, bye. Or should I just let it be?